Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this video here is going over the Death's Allure quest of Asheron's Call. Now, I'm making this video not as a guide for the quest, but a showcase of group content in Asheron's Call. The group content here is pretty much showing you a fellowship, which is a, uh, a group in the game. There are no actual quote-unquote raids in Asheron's Call, but the fellowship here is uh, nine people big. Uh, nine players large, I guess you could say, however you want to word it, and uh, that's how stuff works in this game. The fellowships, are, like I said, are nine people big, and uh, in a lot of games, ten people is only a raid. Like World of Warcraft, they have ten man. Star Wars, I think a, a, a big raid is like eight people, and uh, in this game, you have a fellow, which is nine, and that's just a group, which is, you know, one of the reasons that uh, I always laugh at 10 man raids in uh wow because you know that's not that's not even really a raid size to me i'm used to you know groups in games like this being you know nine people big or even groups in everquest are six people big and uh like i said there are no raids in asheron's call so a big group like what we have here is uh what it is you know it's it's the the group uh it's our raid group essentially so um what happens in this game is uh, people tell you what to do. Uh, our leader is Sasho, and he says in Fellowship what to do for each and every step. He gives copy and paste one step at a time from the Wikipedia into here. He says, uh, you know, once you hit port, straight back up straight into the cave. This avoids the pile at the door. Uh, talk to the hermit down here for the bag of lifestone chips. Hermit, right here. Double click him. Now there's always going to be a leader for these raids. And in Asheron's Call, the game really isn't about, you know, uh, running around and like everybody being on, on the, you know, they're playing their best and all that stuff. The quests are more uh, exploration type in this game, you know. It's about going around and seeing things and doing things and stuff like that. Why won't he give them to me? He won't give me my lifestone chips. But, um, everybody, uh, there we go. But, uh, there's, like I said, one leader. He'll lead the group around and, uh, show everybody, you know, what's going on. And everybody follows him and listens to him, much like other games. But in this, he doesn't really explain strategies in a sense. He explains what to do for the quest. Uh, I'll get back and then hit port. Wait. <clears throat> did he say back up into the portal no he's just running into it all right so we run into this portal and uh we're gonna start running through this dungeon and you know killing stuff as we go and stuff like that now i just made another video not too long ago and what i wanted to say in this one like i said in the other one is in ac what you do is uh you actually play with both of your hands on the keyboard which is quite strange considering how you would play in you know other games uh all right, let me read this part. Scattered through the dungeon are six baby Thrungus NPCs. Hand the bag of lifestone chips to each baby. Tip baby Thrunguses appear on the radar as a yellow NPC. Uh, in parentheses, or uh, not in parentheses, but dots. So uh, it pretty much means they appear uh, like, you know, NPCs do throughout the dungeon. You must select a valid combat or target before attacking. So I, would, I need to actually... Uh, rebind a few keys but i won't do that here i'll do that at a later time or something like that uh it'll be pretty straightforward though uh, you know i just gotta follow my fellow and uh you know stay close to them listen to the leader and everything will be just fine uh one thing i'd like to say is unlike a lot of other games out there in asheron's call nobody is uh like i'm trying to think of the proper way to say it there's actually one of the mobs right there baby thrunger Nobody in this is, uh, or this game doesn't hold true to the typical uh, Trinity MMO, like, you know, class makeup. There is no tanks in this game. There are no healers. There uh, is pretty much just players. Everybody does damage. Everybody does what they would normally do soloing, just in a group atmosphere slash environment. Uh, of course, people can heal other players. You got life mages. Uh, they can heal other players and stuff like that. You got, technically, people can tank. Uh, there's certain bosses that require walls, which uh, what that means is, you know, 
players line up in a wall and stop monsters from getting through them to attack the more squishy like casters or archers that are standing in the back. And uh, that's something to remember and keep in mind and uh, you know one of the main ways that the game works. Uh, and that's what really makes Asheron's Call great when it comes to like group environments and atmospheres and stuff like that. Is uh, you know, it's it's so radically different than probably any game you've played up until this point, and that's what makes Asheron's Call so unique and such an awesome, amazing game. And uh, you know, you're gonna see, you're gonna see uh, you know, me playing through this part of the game, uh, you know, following around the fellow, listening to the leader, and doing each of these parts step by step by step as we go. And uh, it'll might give you an idea if you like the game or not. There's not much I can explain while actually going through this dungeon and doing this quest because I've never done it before. And uh, <clears throat> I'm just listening to Sasha. But the one thing I can say is if you want to do stuff like this, what's important is you uh, find an allegiance, find a patron very shortly after joining, starting the game and stuff like that. Once you find one of them, <clears throat> you swear allegiance to them and uh, you'll... You know, be open to allegiance and uh, hopefully get a do and see stuff like this all the time. Uh, this game is, you know, loads of fun and uh, I, I strongly recommend anyone to take place and uh, participate in stuff like this. There's another baby Thrungus. So I'm going to click and drag my lifestone chips to them. And then, as you can see, it updated here. Eats some lifestone chips and spits them out and then starts to cry. That's uh, a... <clears throat> You know, it, it tells me, it pretty much lets me know that the quest updated. And uh, I can continue on to the next one, and then the next one after that, the next one after that, and blah, 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 the list goes on. And, uh, what is that? Marinated, oh, okay, that's used for cooking. And uh, <clears throat> that's pretty much what we're doing here. We're following Sasho, and he's leading us through the dungeon. Now, uh, the main thing that happens before all of these quests and events go on and stuff like that is the person that's deciding or rather leading them will go around and uh you know get all of the portals for all of the dungeons that we're actually planning on going to and doing throughout the uh the night and once he once he has all of the portals and stuff like that it'll be much easier to actually lead the fellow around because uh you know they can just open the portal and then everybody can port to it and go there and just hop right in and start doing it which uh, makes it a lot easier and uh, pretty much it's what a good leader does in this game. Like I uh, was saying in another video, or it might have been earlier on in this video, you don't really have to go over boss strategies in this game. There are no <clears throat> raid bosses and things like that. Uh, you have like bosses that can only be taken down with a large fellow. I did one last night. It was His name was Airbax. But, uh, you know... Besides making a wall, draining his stamina, and killing him, there was really no super high-tech strategy. Like, there was no, like, don't stand in the fire. You know, he splits into ads during phase one, and then during phase two, he does that. During phase three, blah, blah, blah. In Asheron's Call, the game is more about exploring and adventuring throughout the world. And, uh, you know, when it comes time to leading raids and leading fellowships, it's more about, uh, you know, following each of these steps and doing what you're told to... Uh, you know, complete the quest rather than, you know, go into a raid dungeon, kill a bunch of trash, and then take down the raid boss. Everybody, you know, loots, rolls on the loot and stuff like that. That's not how it works in Asheron's Call. Everything is a quest. You go through and you do each part of the quest. You don't even get it in a quest log, which is why it's very important to watch and listen to the leader. And then after you complete the quest, everybody goes back to the NPC that gave it. You turn the quest in and you receive, re you receive your reward for the quest. It's pretty straightforward. It's uh, <clears throat> definitely different than a lot of the other games out there that you are probably accustomed to. It's definitely a lot different than World of Warcraft. Uh, I mean, there's no instances in this game. There's no, or there's instances, I think, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, that's really how this game works and why it's so vastly different than any other MMORPG out there and why after 13... Or, uh, I think it was, no, nah, I'd say like 10 to 12 years. Uh, after uh, 10 to 12 years, I'm still playing this game. I came back to it, and uh, I love it. In all honesty, it's, it's so much different than any other game out there. And, uh, 
you know, if you're bored of all other MMORPGs, which I truth, tr truthfully so am bored of all other games, this game is such a refreshing change, and uh, it's amazing. I love it. Uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to stop playing it, in all honesty, and uh, I'm really enjoying helping people get into the game, new players, returning players, and I'm very happy that I'm bringing players back and breathing a lot of new life into the game. Uh, it's just, it's beautiful, and uh, I'm very, very, uh, it's, out of all of the stuff I've done for my website, all of the work I've done, all of the guides I've written, all of the games I've played, this is the one that gives me the most, uh, the best feelings, you know, via playing it, or that I've gotten from playing it, making guides for it. It's the community I'm happiest to help, and, uh, most willing to help, and enjoy helping the most, and, uh, it's the game in the past, like, five years that I've had the most fun playing. Uh, I haven't had this much fun playing a game since, like, the EverQuest progression servers. And uh, even then, this is still, like, you know, almost beating out how much fun the progression servers were. But uh, <clears throat> that's pretty much, like, you know, all I have to say about that. I could go on for hours and hours and hours talking about this game. I, I truly, truly do love it. And uh, I really do hope to share that love with other players, you know, that are interested in playing the game. Which is why I'm making videos like this to show, you know, show gameplay throughout the game and to show people, you know, what to expect from the game and stuff like that. <clears throat> because that's a big, big part in getting more people to play the game is, uh, you know, show them what to do, what to expect and stuff like that. This, uh, anybody, I guess anybody that I could get interested in the game is, uh, it's just great. Uh, I'd gladly take anybody who's watching this video on as a vassal. You can swear to me. I'll give you free gear, free weapons, free money, free everything. Give you a home. Show you how to play. Go out of my way to help you. Uh, get you XP. Help you level. Anything. And uh, anybody else, even if you don't pick my server, will do the same exact thing as me. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to that that I can think of saying. <clears throat> it's hard finding, uh, especially when I don't know the quest, <laughs> it's hard finding enough uh, information to um, talk about throughout the course of the video. But uh, I'm doing pretty good, I must say. Just following the fellow here. Oop. Stop, because V-Tank started to uh, attack something. I think the last NPC is up here. Or maybe we, uh, we're on number 5 or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what number we're on. I kind of forget myself. But uh, that's not really that big of a deal. It'll be pretty easy to figure out once we get there. Uh, <clears throat> also, I have two accounts running right now. So if I pause briefly for a second, I'm pretty sure I did earlier on in this video. But uh, I'm checking my Almar's Xpear, which is located in the Ulthoi Hive. A uh, level 60 hive, I think I'm in. And uh, he's grinding experience. He's sworn to my uh, mule so uh, he passes XP up to my mule, and then, uh, which eventually, after, you know, it passes XP up to many, many more characters, it uh, eventually reaches me. Uh, and I know my guildies are going to watch this video right after I make it, and they're going to be like, dude, you stopped to loot so much back there. But in, uh, <laughs> in that case, for any of you guys that think that, it's because I'm looking over there and also trying to think of stuff to say while, you know, running into the whatever. So uh, trust me, I'm not getting lost. And, uh, I'm not much of use in here anyway. I'm only hitting him for, like, 65 critting for 200 and some. Uh, pretty, pretty low hits and stuff. So, uh, <clears throat> as I was saying, really, with, uh, with the game and stuff like that, if anybody out there, uh, if you're watching this video, you have questions about the game or anything like that, post them in the comments. I will get around to answering them. And I will, uh, answer you as quickly as possible, uh, as quickly as I can. And let me see if uh, where they run off to. Please tell me this is the way they ran off to. Do, 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 do. They, yep, there's one. I think they crossed. Yep, they crossed this little gap here. There we go. But that's the only thing that's a little bit hard about these fellowships is uh, you have to like super, super pay attention and watch your mini map and guess where they went. Uh, as you can see, I'm running around with the map open in the upper left here because I got lost in the other dungeon because they all like zipped away and they disappeared off my mini map before I could actually get to them and figure out where they went. So that's uh, you know one of the one of the hard parts about uh, about this game is following people in fellows because it doesn't have a uh, 
like you can't maximize the mini map or there's no in-game map that'll show you where people are definitely uh an improvement that i think turbine should do maybe once uh maybe since their subscription number is pretty much doubled since of asheron's call too that's a uh change that they can bring into the game at a an earlier at an early time or something like that uh, i had to take a sip of my coffee I'll turn off V-Tank so it stops stopping to loot. And run up here and turn in the sixth and final Lifestone Chips bag to this guy. Mr. Baby Throngus, you get the last piece. There we go. This must be, see, as you can see, <clears throat> it usually only says these three things. And then it says uh, a fourth thing now. This must be what the Hermit was after. Hurry and return to the Hermit before the Throngus powder dissipates. Hold on. Let me ask something, fella. figured it out see and uh you must not be afraid to ask questions in asheron's call uh i asked the question got my answer nothing to worry about and uh now we're gonna run through this portal port up to the sh start of the cave and uh i'll double click the npc and i'll turn it in get uh my xp stuff like that as you can see back straight up into the cave to avoid those mobs and then uh we'll be able to double click the hermit and claim our rewards there you go 150 million some luminance i gained my i gained a level up and i have uh, 3.2 billion xp unspent that's all there is to this quest pretty straightforward pretty easy to figure out and uh i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like comment subscribe and all of that fun stuff and uh i'll catch you guys around uh as always good luck and happy hunting